This tutorial focuses upon how to manipulate matrices in MATLAB. Everything is treated as matrix in MATLAB, even the scalar. Let's make row matrix. They can be made in two different ways, the result is same in both cases. Now we will make a matrix from minus 2 pi to 2 pi, with a fixed step of pi by 100, in this way. This is how we can apply a trigonometric function on each entry of old matrix, to make a new matrix. Make a row matrix. If we do not provide the step, it is taken by default as 1. Take its transpose using apostrophe sign, to make it a column matrix. In order to use matrix multiplication, with steric sign, the matrix dimensions must agree. In order to multiply the matrices entry-wise, use dot steric sign, that is, first entry, with first, second with second, and so on. Use clear, all to remove all currently present data from memory of the MATLAB workspace. Use CLC to clear screen. Use this command to make multi, row, multi, column matrices. A semicolon between entries of a matrix will transfer them to a new row. Use I command to make identity matrices. Use magic command to make random square matrices. Use pascal command to make symmetric square matrices. Use size variable command to get size of a matrix. Use dot hat to get higher powers of a matrix.
Use zero's command to get a null matrix. See that result of matrix multiplication and scalar multiplication are different. Use INV matrix to calculate inverse of a matrix. See that scalar product of matrix and inverse is not an identity matrix whereas a matrix product is identity matrix. To access a specific entry, write matrix name along with row and column number. To access a specific column, write matrix name with colon in place of rows number and specific column number. To access a specific row, Write matrix name with specific row number and colon in place of column number. Visit my channel for other exciting video. Thanks for watching.